it gives me a great pleasure to be part of this education stakeholders engagement meeting, being the first of its kind since I assume office as the governor of NARO. However, I am not new to education matters, especially pertaining to NARO County. Uh, throughout my public life, I have served in various capacity that have brought me head on with the challenges and opportunities in our Kenya education system. Perhaps uh, most illuminating of this journey in my career on matters education is when I served as the Deputy County Commissioner, Malindi Subcounty, and later on as the Member of Parliament uh, for Narok West uh, constituency. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I am alive to the challenges uh, we face as Narok County fraternity. Some of these challenges might seem impen impenetrable, but I assure you that when we, came, we, when we come together as stakeholders and speak with one voice, we will summon uh, them. I have uh, noted that over the years, the overall uh, performance of Narrow County School compared to other counties has been going up uh, steadily. However, this performance both for primary schools and secondary school has been growing at a, a rather slow pace. That indeed, as we sit here today, we must all ask ourselves what needs to be done to, sec uh, to accelerate uh, the growth. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the notable uh, challenges in Naro County is, is understaffing. Naro County schools are among the counties which are accurately, uh, accurately understaffed. I urge the stakeholders, more so to the Teacher Service Commission, to undertake a survey, map the county, and come up with clear modalities in staffing our schools. On this matter of staffing, clearly our county faces similar problems and challenges as those counties in, our, in northern eastern Kenya or hardship areas. In northern and northern eastern Kenya, the entry qualification for teachers is low compared to other regions. I urge the Teacher Service Commission to work with stakeholders to consider giving incentive to local trained teachers by, imploring, uh, by exploring similar mechanism. This will go a long way to deal with staffing challenges we face in Naro. Further, I am also aware of the shortage or lack of teachers uh, quotas across most schools in Naro County. This made worse by the fact that some of these teachers are posted away from their homes, hence the need to seek for long-term accommodation. This is a challenge that I believe can adequately be solved by having critical uh, discussion between the stakeholders involving the school management, parents, and area leadership. Among the very many challenges benevolent our education sector in Narrow County include the issues of gender parity. Our Kenya Constitution 2010 and, and related laws have given affirmative action, a priority in all, in all sectors. There are fewer female teachers in Narrow as there are male teachers. This ripple effect of this cannot be underestimated. The people who suffer most without female teachers are our girls. I implore the Commission to take uh, immediate action and undertake to post female teachers by as well observing the locals who are tra trained and are, readily, and are ready to work. Still on this matter, we all must rise to the occasion and take the difficult mandal of encouraging our girls to attend and finish schools. As stakeholders of education in Narrow County, I wish to assure you, members, today that my administration will do its part in so far as education is, con is, is concerned. To that end, while on, the while on the campaign trail, I pledge to the people of Narrow that I will upgrade and maintain the existing road networks as I will intend to enhance connectivity by building and opening up new roads like links and bridges. This work starts as soon as we have our annual expenditure approved by the county assembly. Poor road networks is one of the many challenges that I know our teachers face in Narok. From Narok North, 
Narok West, Narok South, Narok East, and, and to uh, the farthest end of Grigolis. This seemed to be a common problem. I have hit the ground running on matters healthcare. This is in line with what I, uh, I promised the people of Narok. It was only yesterday that I received a delegation of leading global doctors from India who paid me a catharsis visit to see the strides we are making in our health sector. We have a new facility at our Narok Referral Hospital that is currently under construction. I endeavor to have it completed in time. I equip and staff. Once complete, the referral hospital will be an, a transition to level five teaching and referral hospital. Teachers with special ailment won't have to travel outside the, the county seeking medical care. Soon, they, they won't have to travel to Kijabe, uh, Tenwek, Kericho, or Eldoret seeking medical services. That is a promise I made to the people of Narok County. It is a promise to everyone who lives in Narok, including uh, the teachers. We are as well in the process of upgrading various medical centers across the county into level four hospital. Already three have been upgraded and we are staffing them immediately. This will ensure residents who include teachers won't have to travel the long distance to Narok town seeking services they can get near their station of work. I have been made aware by the teachers, uh, teachers Service County Director of a program in which the TSC and the Teachers Medical Provider Minute partners with various hospitals to ensure to secure a private wing dedicated to teachers. I will in due course invite the TSC Director, County Director Jane Mutua to my office to have further discussion and explore the viability of this uh, program. On the, issue, on the issue of water shortage, I recently had a consolidated meeting with the Narrow County Water Committee and Department. I have issued a directive to have a report table in my office within two weeks detailing intervention that's, that needs to be uh, injected into the water problems in Narrow County. Clean and safe water for all is one of the nine points agenda in my manifesto. It goes without saying that my administration will do everything within its disposal to make this a reality. Last but not least, apart from the, exi uh, the existing 900, 941 ECD centers across the county, my administration will, will impact on construction of more centers to accommodate the growing numbers of learners. As for today, we have registered 74,237 learners across these centers with over 1,000 1, teachers. Of these, 854 teachers have been trans transitioned to permanent and pensionable terms. This number of teachers is still inadequate, and it is in our plan to recruit more as soon as we, our annual expenditure is approved by the county assembly. It is also important, I mentioned that we have plans underway to undertake a rigorous process of setting up a scheme of service for the program. I am pleased, as well as to inform you that our teachers for ECD program have been trained and are CBC compliant. The, the vital nature of ECD cannot be wished away. The holistic development of child's social, emotional, and physical needs to build a solid and broad foundation for lifelong learning and well-being start at ECD. My administration is committed to this goal. Ladies and gentlemen, our challenges are many, but these challenges will never be surmounted if we do not unite and bring together our, effort, our efforts. These challenges will never come to an end if each and every one of you will not do their part. This is our, our county. This is our country. These are our children. We must, we must love our country and our children by doing what is right for them. My office is always open for any further uh, consul consultation, deliberation, or any other discussion on how best we can all contribute towards advancing education in Narrow County. Allow me to end this short address by quoting an American civil rights icon, Malcolm X. Education is the passport to the future. For tomorrow, belong to those who prepare for it.
today. Thank you and may God uh, bless you.